first off, um, I haven't caught from a real thrower in a while because I could already tell the ball spinning and coming at me very hard where I'm like trying to make sure I don't bust my face here. Um, but like, hey, first off, just tell us what it's like to be here, yep. not as a college athlete, yep. but like you're going to be a part of one of these banners up mm -hmm. here at, at some point. It's a, a fun, neat experience, uh, right. to say the least. You know, coming in, uh, this place, uh, you know, Miami, that's the first time I've ever been here. Right. Uh, the weather is absolutely beautiful, but um, I mean, this is just, just neat. It's really just trying to take it all in uh, one day at a time, you know, through the draft process as well. I mean, let's just, let's just keep going and, and see where this thing, you know, is going to end up. And right now, you're totally in combine prep mode, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So you're working out, what, every day of the week for the most working part? Working out, yeah, four to five days of the week. Yep. And uh, getting to throw, are you, uh, where are you working out right now? Uh, I'm in Mobile, Alabama. Okay. Um, so my, my quarterback guy that I've been with, uh, since in, since ninth grade, uh, he's from Mobile. Uh, it was kind of a no-brainer to go down there and train with him. And uh, we've been down there and since uh, the second week of January, or like the later part of the first week. And uh, this is finishing up my third week, so I'm I'm pumped and and excited to see where things are going from now on. Yeah. All right. So wait, I want to ask you a few things here. First off, you just talked about you know your quarterback. You had a quarterback guy since ninth grade. A little, yeah. And you you went to high school in Texas. Yeah. Well, no, no. Georgia. Georgia. Yep. I don't know why I thought it was Texas. Yep. I'm an idiot. Look, that's, no, that's I didn't all good. My, but um, so ninth grade though, yeah. you had him. All right. So first, I want to ask you because I want to okay. geek out quarterbacks. Okay. Now, this is what I do with some quarterbacks. I've done this with Rogers, uh -huh. Big Ben, everybody. Yeah. Grip the ball. I, I saw. I saw the uh, the Josh Allen one. You seen the uh, Josh I saw, Allen? I saw right. That one. Right. So okay. Yep. So, so there I'm, you are. I'm here. You're right there. So you're a you're a two and four guy, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or right, you're right on the le the lakes. Right yeah, I'm there, on, right? yeah, I'm on that. I'm on that second. You're on that one, yeah. second one, two and I four. Pinky over. Right. So there's a lot of quarterbacks are two yeah. and four. Brady's two and four, right? Like um, now, what, now what what are you? I'm a two and five. So very similar. Okay. I'm right there with you. Okay. Uh, I got big hands, but okay, I put so you this got, pinky, you that, you one, that pinky just one a little lower. Yeah. Right. Okay. And you always gripped it that way. Have you ever really messed with it? Uh, kind of. It really just kind of always gripped it that way. Me I know. I got up to the the high school ball and the college ball. They're about the same in the NFL ball. Just it's going to be the same it's too. The same, so. You're going to actually end up liking throwing the NFL ball. I know. I'm, I'm starting. I'm starting to like you know really say, hey, this is starting to feel really good. Right. You know, at first, you're like you're throwing it and you're like, man, a different ball. It, it kind of sucks there at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, but you'll have a couple. You're like, oh, that felt that, that felt good. Spins out yeah. of your hand, right? Yeah. That felt I know. Good. That I just spit on myself and say that. <laughs> you're so but, excited about but, it. So excited about it. But the laces are good, <laughs> right? You get, yeah. And then you're going to see like you're going to break the balls in there yep. if you want in the NFL. Yep. So, like growing up, mm -hmm. all right, who who taught you how to throw? Where did that where did it come from? Gosh, I, uh, I guess I mean, you're obviously naturally gifted. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, so actually, uh, let's go back to uh, baseball. Good. Um, going back to baseball here. Yeah. Uh, so I had a, I had a problem uh, when I threw. Uh, I would I would kind of push the ball. Gotcha. Kind of like, kind of like that. And um, and so what happened was I had to go over to uh, my neighbor's house. My neighbor. I uh, knew all about baseball, uh, played minor league baseball, and so I was up on a fence, and I had a baseball, and I would start here, and he'd make me throw it uh, just to get over the top. Right. Um, and so that's actually, you know, I guess a little bit about my motion and a little interesting, and, uh, and even, even during this kind of quarterback process, uh, we're still trying to get more flexible. I'm kind of a stiff, thicker guy. Yeah. Uh, and just trying to get more flexible there in my elbow and my shoulder right. just to kind of get a little more elbow turn. Yeah, well, I mean, it's some interesting things you said there. First off, like, I'm already going to tell you, the ball, and I know you're not even throwing full speed, but the ball pops out of your hand a little more aggressively than I was expecting. I'll take it. I'll take and, it. And that, well, <laughs> I think that speaks to you being a natural thrower. You're pretty gifted that way. But, you know, on, on, you know sometimes TV can lie. You don't really yeah. know how much the ball is moving, how uh -huh. is it spinning. And I can tell you could spin it. I can tell Thank that right you. away. I appreciate that. And you're not the first quarterback I've thrown with. As you know, I don't know. My dad played. Yeah. I've caught some some uh, pretty good guys. I'll take it. All right, it. so, you know, what's your – I always am interested into, like, what's your always the, the bad thing you fall back into where you got to stay on it? Is it that arm height? I mean, what is it? I always had a problem with not keeping my front shoulder in, right, uh -huh. where – you know, I would just throw too much arm. So yeah. instead of being here, getting ready to throw, I would yep. almost be like this and just try to muscle okay, my arm. I'm, 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 a little, I'm a little bit of both. So uh, I would say two things on me. Uh, I would say I, I got a lot of upper body arm strength. Right. You know, I, I probably should throw a little bit more on my legs. Yeah. Uh, and I've gotten away with it up until this point. You know, I'll, I'll just sit here and I'll just kind of flick it uh, with my arm. Yeah. Uh, and I love to, to drop it down uh, just to play a little baseball. You know, sure. you play, play in shortstop and – 
Um, just kind of, just kind of do that. What? And it's just, it's just easy. That's that's um, sick. That's some good shit right there. I'm just telling you. <laughs> all right. I mean, that really is. And you're gonna have to make like so many throws no, like absolutely. that in the NFL. Absolutely. And it's it's fun though. I love doing it in practice, and then it's it's, it's fun, and you do it in the game, and yeah. it's fun. I don't think enough quarterbacks really practice it. Yep. And I think the guy we're seeing in the Super Bowl, number 15, practices it a whole lot. I would say so. Right? And that's yep. why he can do it whenever yep. he wants. Yep. Like, for you, who is the guy growing up, okay, yep. that you kind of looked at? Like, as a young – I want young Jake from Idol, mm -hmm. and then the guy right now who you look at and go, yep. man, that's, that's the man. Yeah. So, uh, I actually answered this question a little bit earlier this morning. Uh, so, for me, growing up, you know, you had Brett Favre. You had Peyton Manning. You had Tom Brady. And you had Drew Brees. Yeah. Um, you know, and those guys are uh, – yeah, the it's class extremely, of their I own. Mean, unbelievable. Um, and then so for me, you know, as I'm growing up, you know, going through this process, kind of looking at what I can do, what I can't do, uh, I, you know, I, I need to mirror my game as much after Drew Brees as I possibly can. Right. Um, I mean, he's, he's amazing, uh, you know, amazing with his feet, um, throws on time, uh, throws in rhythm. Um, and so I'm just trying to be the best, best you know, kind of 2.0 I can be. You pay attention to, like, hip stuff or anything like that? You know how, like, you ever see Dak Prescott, like, doing yeah. his whole, yeah. I'm Dak Prescott? Uh -huh. Do you think about any of that? Because I never thought about that aspect no. of it. I thought always the shoulder, mm -hmm. and that got my hips to react yeah, little, after that. Yeah, shoulder load there. Right. Um, I guess I never really had to think about that much. I, I guess, I mean, I, I keep going back to baseball. Right. You know, and the kind of the parallels between it, you know, and you're, yeah. you're, you're hitting a baseball, you're kind of getting your lower body into it. And no so, doubt. I guess I never really had a problem. Too much with that. They're loading up and letting it letting it fly. Yeah. What what position did you play in baseball? Uh, third, short, first. Uh, I used to catch a little bit. Uh, catching was fun. Broke my hand. Dad wouldn't let me catch anymore, so uh, I just played third and first after that. So that's why at times when you were younger, you're playing third. You're just flicking it over. Just flicking there. it over. Just just right. just rolling two real quick. But. You play now, like what you're doing right now. You feel like that helped you as an overall yeah, thrower, right? Absolutely. Like it yeah. does Patrick Mahomes. I mean, there's just something about a baseball that teaches you to mm -hmm. throw it from different platforms and use your hand. I mean, right. I, I, at least that's how I felt. You feel the same way there? Absolutely. But uh, um, uh, for you, like, what's interesting about you to me is you had an unreal college career. Like, unreal. And, Thank like, you. congratulations. Thank you. I mean, you kind of brought Georgia back to, like, a national power. And Thank you're you. you're a big reason. I saw your first game ever at Notre Dame. Yeah. Knew you were going to be something. Because I remember sitting there in warm-ups going, man, this damn freshman's about to start at Notre Dame, which was a good football team that good year. Good football team. You weren't overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. What do you kind of, what do you think you get that cool calmness about you? Uh, for me, you know, I kind of go back uh, to my faith on that one. Uh, I know God's, he's not going to put me in a position where anything I can't handle, uh, he, he's right there with me every step of the way. Right. Uh, my family, the way I was raised. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think there's a kind of a toughness and a grit and a, a level of preparation uh, that kind of goes on uh, during the week. Yeah. Particularly in that game, uh, you know, the guys I had around me, uh, I knew they had my back, uh, and I was ready to go to battle for them. And yeah. That's, that's what I remember from that game. That was some damn good team you had there. Who, who <laughs> yeah. was that? Was that McCall Hardman that made the – the one-handed catch? That was Terry. Terry Godwin. That was who? It was, yep. Yeah, man, that was unreal catch. Yep. That might have been the difference in the game right yep. there. That was fun. I feel like you've become a little bit of the forgotten man right now as far as the draft. Like, I feel like everyone talks about Tua mm -hmm. and then Joe Burrow, mm -hmm. and now Justin Herbert's name's come involved. Yep. I mean, do you feel like you've like, got kind of lost in the shuffle here for what you've done? I mean, that's, that's okay with me. Yeah. Uh, you know, th all those guys are extremely talented. Um, but, you know, talking about it, it, it never, never really does anything, you know, and I, I think um, kind of when it's all said and done, you know, we'll see. Uh, but, you know, for me, it's just really just going to work. Right. You know, I mean, how, how can I, you know, be better? How can I get better, you know, in the interview process? And, and how can I get better, you know, on the field and, and making all the throws I need to make? Yeah. All right. All right. So it's time. I mean, State Farm, first off, I love when you throw the ball like that, dude. I love that. <laughs> I love that crap. Um, State Farm, Mahomes, Rogers, yep. I don't, whoever the talent evaluator is for yeah. State Farm, uh -huh. some NFL team needs to freaking hire them. <laughs> no All doubt. Right? No doubt. Because now you're, they must see something in you. I don't know. That's a uh, man. I, I, that's a, some big shoes to fill for sure. Yep. So what are you doing with them? Uh, so uh, this is freshman initiation for me. 
uh, coming down, uh, getting to hang out, um, and just really have fun. You know, uh, you know, do some interviews. Um, and, and really kind of, you know, just, just be here, be me, and, and have a little fun while doing it. Right, and what's, a, what's State Farm pitching? What do they want you to pitch as yep. far as? I, I guess I'm here, and I'm, I'm Jake from State Farm. So You're Jake from I'm, State Farm? I'm here. I love it. <laughs> it's Jake from State Farm. Hold on, we need to get a close-up <laughs> with Jake from State Farm, all right? <laughs> Yo, first off, I really enjoyed this. No, thank Moon you. for you, all yeah, right? Thank you. Good luck with everything. Jake from State Farm, a.k.a. Jake from, a.k.a. <laughs> really freaking good college quarterback and about to be a really good NFL quarterback. We'll see, Check him out. You the man, yeah, all right? Thank you. Keep working Appreciate hard. Good luck. Thank all you. Right, buddy. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.